moved ahead in the game a little more and we're now at level one, two, three, four, five. Level five is finished. There's only single spots left and some gaps. So we're now playing on to level six and there's only two spots to play in. The three and the two and the one and the one. And one of the cool things about this game is that through just pure luck, maybe good planning, but you can very, not very often play your way into this game. But just through good luck, someone might be holding the double one. And on level six, remember, six times two, that's 12 points. And then whoever's turned it is next must play in the last spot. Okay? So the last spot here is the two and the three. And unfortunately, the next player wasn't holding that, but they were at least holding a two. So they can match that uh, for six points. Now there's only one spot left to play. Whoever's turn it is must play on that spot and that's worth seven points or if you were lucky to have the one and the two domino that would be worth 14 points at the end of the game. The player whose turn it was only had that so they take seven points for their last turn and that's actually the end of the game. The end of the game, you total the look at the total points everyone has, and the most points is the winner. And that's Ziggurat. The games don't take too long to play. You don't want players to take too long on their turns, because uh, there's not a lot of strategy here. You've just got to find that right domino and get it down. And I would try and play it more than once because one player can end up with a couple of lucky plays and get very high scores just by having the right domino. And you want to give someone else a chance to maybe plant that last one if they happen to have that right uh, combination of pips to get a high score at the end. So you can play a couple of games in probably 30 minutes, a little bit longer. And yeah, it's nothing too uh, challenging, not a lot of strategy to it, more luck than, than strategy, but just something different to do with dominoes. So hope you enjoyed watching this and maybe give it a go and we'll be back showing you some other games you can make and maybe some different things you can do with dominoes, uh, just some different kinds of games. So thanks for watching.